Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore six essential steps to effectively manage your JIRA projects using a user story map. Let's dive right in. Our first step is to define your user personas. These are fictional characters representing your target audience. Start by sketching out your persona's details, including demographics, behaviors, needs, and goals. This feature can be accessed by clicking here in Product Go's User Story Map. This provides a clear understanding of who your users are and what they expect from your product. Moving on to step two, now that you have your personas and their needs in mind, it's time to start with the big picture. Begin by defining your team's goals based on the personas and your project's purpose. Arrange these goals logically, creating a roadmap for your project. Under each goal, write down the steps or epics that represent sizable components of your product's functionality. Remember, these epics will likely need to be broken down into smaller pieces of work to make them manageable within sprints. Step three is all about breaking down those big stories or epics into smaller, more manageable units. An epic, as we mentioned earlier, is a significant section of your software product. To make it more manageable, break it down into user stories, which can be seen as the main tasks that need to be completed. Keep in mind that user stories can contain tasks, making it easier to track progress and assign responsibilities. Now in step four, we get into estimating the effort required for each user story. Gather your team and have a discussion to finalize the estimated effort needed for each story. This is where story points come into play. Consider using tools like Agile Box's Planning Poker to help with story point estimation. Step five focuses on arranging your stories into swim lanes after estimating the effort for each story, it becomes easier to select the set of stories that should go into your releases or sprints. This ensures that your team is focused on delivering the most important user stories in each sprint or release. Finally, in step six, it's crucial to track progress and keep your user story map up to date. Regularly update your user story map to ensure transparency among stakeholders. Add more user stories during the sprint or release, if necessary, to adapt to changing requirements. And there you have it, six essential steps to effectively manage JIRA projects using a user story map. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more valuable insights.